Thank you so much. Um, let me just uh, start with uh, sharing my screen here and uh, probably go into full screen. And uh, here we go. Uh, so thanks a lot and uh, thanks for the great music. Uh, it was really, really great to be there backstage and uh, listen to the, to the great music. So that really makes this event very, very special, I think. Um, yes, I, the title, uh, you already mentioned, title is quite long. Um, but I will go into everything, into detail. I will explain everything that's written here into this, uh, in, in these two sentences. Um, my name is Jürgen. I work for a company uh, called Dynatrace and I'm also maintainer of the Captain project, which is an open source uh, CNCF project. And today I want to talk about how to kind of merge the concepts of Captain, which is more data-driven event-based uh, delivery with GitOps, um, with GitOps tools. And uh, with this, we can then orchestrate multi-stage delivery with quality gates based on SLO. So there's a couple of, of, of those uh, big words, but I will go into all of them in, in more detail in the next couple of minutes. So let me start with um, basically what, with a, with a very basic introduction of GitOps. So I, I know at the GitOps days, we don't need an introduction of GitOps, but what I really want to highlight here is the power of this concept that it's not, um, the, the software deployment is not uh, about doing a kubectl apply on my dev environment or even worse on my staging or production environment, but it's the other way around that it's actually the dev environment is looking for changes and then we'll pull the changes and all the changes, everything that we want to deploy, all the configuration, this is in Git. Everything is versioned, stored in Git and um, we have uh, this as our single source of truth. I think that's the, the biggest power of, of GitOps. But what can what kind of we need in addition to this is um, some way how to manage our tests, uh, performance tests, smoke tests, uh, functional tests, uh, how to do an evaluation of our tests. Um, we might run, run tests for two hours and then we have to figure out, okay, what is the actual data we, we need to evaluate if we can approve this. Uh, this version and then actually apply this new version tag in our staging environment. Um, or that there are so many other things that are in the whole life cycle of our applications. And we have to figure out a way how we want to orchestrate all these different tasks. So what I want to talk about today is how we can, uh, how Captain, uh, Captain concepts can enrich the GitOps experience to also orchestrate the testing, the evaluation, and automated or manual approval, and then basically on based on the approval, rewrite the state in the Git repository or write the, the new state to the Git repository for, let's say, a staging. And then again, the GitOps approach can do its magic and pull this, uh, th this new change and apply everything in staging, not only the um, the, the image tag, but of course, all the configuration that has to be applied in staging and might be different from, from uh, your dev environments. But this is the, the whole power, I think, of GitHub then combined with uh, an, an orchestration layer on top of it that, that can be data driven. And this actually already brings me to, to Captain. Um, this is an application lifecycle orchestrator. And there is more to it that I would. I will go to, to mention in this, in this presentation today. But the big part for this presentation is how to orchestrate the multi-stage delivery with GitOps tools and also have uh, quality gates uh, that make sure that we do not deploy anything into production that should not go into production because maybe uh, the error rate is way too high or maybe our new version is way too slow uh, and it would kill our clusters if, uh, if a lot of our customers uh, would, would use it. So this is the, the main part that I want to focus on, but there's more to it. Um, we can even use Captain for automating parts of the operations where Captain can uh, automatically roll back by again setting a, an image tag and has been approved earlier and has been uh, too uh, in, into the Git repository, and then the GitOps um, operator will again apply this, or by orchestrating also remediation action in uh, in response to any alerts that are coming in, and then orchestrating uh, some parts of the remediation. So this is what can be done, and for today, I want to focus how we can combine this all uh, with with the GitOps approach. 
So here on the more right hand side of the picture, uh, I want to focus on the on the small text here on the on on, on, on our favorite um, uh, format YAML. Um, I want to just focus here on how in Captain we define a process and how we define an environment. And basically, we uh, in this shipyard file, I have defined a multi-stage environment with dev and staging and the whole delivery process with the deployment, testing, evaluation, approval, and the uh, release stage to the next to the next uh, environment. And I've. Maybe you've already noticed, uh, I'm not a native speaker in English. Um, I am from, from Austria, um, we speak German and captain for us sounds like the captain of a ship. Uh, so we also have a couple of those terms like the shipyard that builds the environment is the definition of the environment or um, we will hear later on uh, the, the, the lighthouse or uh, some other terms like the captain's uniform, which, uh, which is like what the captain is wearing, the, the tooling that is applied to captain. And a couple of those things to just be you have been warned now that there will be a couple of those expressions. But now let, let us take a look at the uh, at, at this shipyard uh, file. So we do have the deployment, we have a test, we have an evaluation with a couple of other different tasks. And the important part here is that these tasks, they will get uh, eventually, uh, uh, sorry, sequentially uh, triggered by Captain and the whole interaction between the different tools. And I've just uh, put in here some example tools, like uh, we can do it with Flux, for example. I just put it in here. So this interaction between those tools can work with cloud events. Um, so for example, when um, Captain wants to trigger deployment, let's say with Helm, it will send um, to the Helm integration will send this event. And once this deployment is finished, it will return um, that the, the deployment is finished. And then Captain can move on to the next stage and trigger the tests with JMeter, low cost artillery, even uh, with, uh, low, uh, with chaos tests, uh, with Litmus, for example. And in this file, we do not define what is the actual test file or test configuration. But again, it's more about what is the test strategy. Same goes for the deployment strategy. Do we want to have blue green or canary release? So this really defines the process uh, and not so much the tooling. Uh, the tooling goes into another concept, which is the captain's uniform. And just on this slide, I've kind of combined those two a little bit. So I put here already um, the tools that can be used. And we can also see here um, that the captain part that is really the built-in capabilities of captain for evaluation, for approval, and for release, uh, where usually there is no other tool needed that can be done directly within captain. And for the other tools, there is captain does not, not want to replace any other deployment tool or testing tool. Captain wants to integrate and use the power of GitOps, for example, of a GitOps operator or the power of already established and matured um, performance and then load testing tools. So we do have this uh, configuration here or, or, or definition here for a dev environment. And also here a little bit below, we can see for a staging uh, environment, we have uh, also a, a, a sequence of tasks. And again, this is called the delivery sequence. It will be triggered once the delivery in the um, in in our dev environment is finished, and um, we we do have our deployment strategy. So we would we are able to change the the testing strategy. Uh, I have here now performance tests instead of uh, functional tests. But also the different tasks can be completely different. Just gives you an idea that you can uh, really easily build multi-stage delivery with one simple um, file here. So. Um, Let's take a look how is this kind of implemented. Um, the conceptual point of view and the conceptual architecture of, of, of Captain looks like this, that we have the Captain control plane in the Kubernetes cluster. And uh, it, the Captain control plane interacts with uh, other tools via cloud events. So there is the communication going on back and forth from the control plane to the execution plane. And uh, one of those execution plane services uh, could be, for example, um, meter or um, artillery for executing the tests. It could be um, even a, some kind of a, a chat uh, bot or notification uh, service uh, or um, a collaboration platform such as, uh, let's say, Slack, listening maybe only for um, uh, finished or uh, successfully finished deployment events or only for failed deployments or only for uh, needed approvals. 
So there might be all these different ways to interact with the, with the control plane and everything here is defined on cloud events, which is also in CNCF project. And we, we defined, uh, I think like 20 plus different events, how to, how, how to control a continuous delivery uh, sequence. And uh, all these different tools, they can subscribe to these events and then you will get uh, notified uh, if such event occurs and they can act upon uh, upon this event. And with this, Captain can manage then um, multi-stage uh, deliveries, even on, on one cluster or multiple clusters, dev staging production. I have just uh, here uh, kind of the, the same example that uh, I also had in the, in the slides um, previously. So we can connect all these tools, but how does it look like? How, how does the, the deployment then uh, actually look like? Um, so we do have in Git, we have uh, stored all of the configuration. So it might be a little bit small here, but uh, we only need here for, for this uh, first part, we actually only need here one line and it's, it's just called Helm here, or it can also be a, a manifest folder. So when it comes to the deployment, Captain will have a, a, a Git repository where all the deployment information for one specific um, microservice or application is stored. And Captain can also update this configuration. So it can act as a promoter from one stage to the other whenever there is a quality gate passed, for example. Or you could also just uh, trigger a, a deployment by updating this Git repository. Um, I've here the trigger deployment uh, with, with the dash line. So there might be um, integrations where Captain directly triggers the deployment, such as with Helm, because it's not an operator and looking for changes. Or we can skip this part and we have uh, some kind of GitOps operator like uh, Flux listening or basically watching the Git repository. And uh, whenever there's a change, then it will start the deployment. It will apply this change into the Kubernetes cluster. And once it's finished, let's say by rolling out the pods, um, it can inform Captain and Captain can then move on to the next task in the sequence that we've seen earlier defined in the shipyard file. And the next task could be, for example, a test. So we can execute some tests here. And again, the like high level overview looks very, very similar to the deployment because again, everything is stored in the Git repository. Uh, in this example, I have two different kinds of tests stored here for my hello service. Um, it's uh, a Gmeter test and it's a, it's a Litmus chaos test. So they are stored in this, um, in this uh, Git repository. And this the test configuration and test files, they are then passed to the tool integrations uh, of Captain to the Captain execution plane. And then they can act uh, they can execute whatever they, they want to execute, like running the, uh, the Gmeter test or executing the chaos that is defined uh, in, in, in the, in the Litmus CRDs. So this is how Captain can orchestrate these tools because only when, tool, when both testing tools are finished, then Captain can trigger the evaluation. Again, it's not necessary to trigger the evaluation, but it's just when we recall the shipyard file that we saw earlier, it was a deployment, it was a test, and it was an evaluation, it was an approval, and then it was released. So the next part would be to do the evaluation. And for the evaluation, we again base everything that's needed for evaluation in the Git repository. We can even see it here. We do have the Prometheus folder and we do have the SLO file here. For Prometheus, I think most of you can imagine it will be the configuration for Prometheus, how to query the data, but the SLO file, what is the SLO file? And let me just explain this. So Captain uses um, SRE best practices. Basically, when you are familiar with the SRE uh, handbook, um, then uh, you might also be familiar with SLIs, SLOs, and SLAs. And we are using the first two concepts heavily in Captain. The first one is uh, the SLI. We can think of this as a metric. And the second one are SLOs that are the objectives for these metrics. And I do have an example also on the next slide, but also here that the metric could be the error rate of particularly requests like login requests. And the objective is this, is, is then that this error rate has to be less than something less than 2% um, or must not increase more than 5% to the previous runs, something like this. And we can now define 
SLIs and SLOs again in, in, in a declarative format that we put into our Git repository. So for the indicators, it's basically a list uh, and a key value uh, for the name of the indicator and how to retrieve this, um, the, the value for this indicator, like by a prompt QL, for example. And for SLOs, we can then use the, S, the name of the SLI and define concrete objectives for our SLIs. Something like the success percentage of a, of a pro has to be higher than 95%. So that means for a given time frame, the time frame um, that is evaluated is actually um, calculated by the by the, uh, the length of the tests that were also orchestrated by Captain. So we can uh, exactly make, uh, be sure that we are evaluating for the correct time frame. Um, and we need, uh, we need a higher success percentage than, or at least 95% of success uh, to get full points on this evaluation, or uh, we would get like only half the points for, it will, it will, it will be a warning if, um, we, if we cannot reach this 95%, but still uh, we are higher than 90%. So this is how we can build quality gates. And this is a very, very simple example. Uh, it, it's actually a valid example, it, it will work. Uh, but of course, you can imagine that uh, you might want to have way more uh, indicators and way more objectives for a quality check before you move something into production. So once executed um, and once triggered, Captain will use these two definition files, will query the data providers, such as uh, Prometheus or, or Dynatrace or, or any other uh, data provider that can be integrated with Captain. will then score first uh, the, all the, the SLOs individually and then come up with a total score. And based on the total score, um, this can be then um, used in the approval phase if it should be approved, if it's approved automatically in, in case of a, of a passing score, then it can automatically be promoted to the next stage, maybe even production. Or you could also um, ask for manual approval, maybe in terms of the PR that, uh, that uh, still has to be approved uh, by someone because uh, the quality gate evaluation was not that good, but still you might want to be uh, want to be able to push this to production because maybe it was a good, it was a very important hotfix uh, that slowed down maybe your performance a little bit, but still you have to put it to production. So there are these, these um, two concepts then we can combine. The whole GitOps approach that will pull um, the, all, all the configuration that is stored and versioned and, and controlled in Git and apply it to your um, Kubernetes cluster. Plus you can then orchestrate the tests, evaluations, but even more, it was just an example, but you can orchestrate the life cycle of your applications then with Captain. So if you are interested, I, I just put here a couple of links uh, for, for Captain. It's, um, it's an open source project. Uh, it's a, currently, a, it's a CNCF project. Uh, and uh, we do have quick starts tutorials. Um, also, you can follow the project. Uh, we always have quite uh, exciting news for new releases. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm mostly um, tweeting about uh, also the Captain project since I'm a maintainer, but also uh, all things around GitOps and automation. Uh, you will find also on, on my Twitter profile. So thanks a lot. Um, hopefully um, we, we can hear the DJ again. Uh, and uh, thanks for having me here.